Hello friends, so in today's video we are going to see how to make a register and also writing the assertion statement and also a normal method of verify verifying your uh, register. So let's jump into the video. So basically what I am doing here is I am taking an input of uh, data 4-bit value uh, and also the output should be 4-bit value because it's 4-bit value then uh, clock and reset is there and then at always will flop block uh, when a passage of the clock or passage of the reset has been uh, happening then I'll be checking coming into this and I'll be checking if it is reset then um, put the output data to uh, 0 if not uh, send the output data as input data so what the register will do basically uh, whenever uh, it whatever the data coming into it it will hold the data for one clock pulse and it will give the output that's the working of the register or flip-flop whatever it is so basically d flip-flop and register is same so while writing this test bench also what we basically need to check is whether the input data and the output uh, which is coming after one clock edge is uh, same or not that's the thing which we are going to check here uh, in order to that I'll just run once and I'll show you uh, if I run so you can you can observe here so just see here so uh, the what we need to check is uh, mainly this sorry I'll delete few signals which we don't need um, yeah. give me one second okay so yeah just see here uh, here if you are observing we can see that whenever at the passage of the clock if the f is being coming here and in the output it will be reflected after one uh, one clock pulse okay so why this thing is happening means this is a flip-flop so in flip in flip-flop it is uh, in general uh, it will store the data for one clock cycle so this change you can observe over here so let's write a test bench for it and uh, if you are writing a test bench for it it's like um, you can write very easily also like just by giving the values of uh, Q and uh, uh, reset or clock manually manually but I feel like uh, I should use a proper test bench so uh, this is for a basic level if you are writing a test bench like this for register this will be good so let's jump into the test bench so here also I am just connecting the DUT and then I am writing logic blocks for data Q and previous data and uh, clock and reset block has been written and in this clock generator block I'm using a initial begin clock generator block and uh, while one I'll be like uh, after each five second the clock pulse will be changing from zero one zero one so next it is like initial begin block in this initial begin in the, it, I, I mentioning this as a driver kind of driver so here what it is doing means uh, in this it will be checking whether uh, I am first uh, this until here I am just like uh, giving a fixed value for these things like data to zero and uh, reset I am keeping uh, as high for some time uh, like I am keeping the reset high for uh, first five clock cycles uh, and then I am using a negage of the clock and at that negage of the clock I am setting this reset again to zero uh, then I am coming into here so here what I am doing is this driver uh, I'm just writing data equal to u random means uh, u random or random you can use which will give uh, randomized value as your data without uh, you don't need to write uh, every value manually so you can get random values and then uh, uh, I'm giving this data equal to private data this is because I need to verify my uh, data with the uh, after one clock edge I need to verify my data so in order for that I'm using like this and at passage of the clock so what will happen here means in this for loop whenever this at passage of the clock is being triggered then it will go to the uh, test bench like main uh, main verification part which means uh, whenever I'm using that it will come here and uh, in this always begin block it will come here and it is checking whether uh, at if reset if reset is being used uh, whether this Q is not equal to zero means this output is uh, output should be sorry output should be equal to equal to zero sorry I made a mistake so whether this output is equal to equal to zero then uh, oh, okay sorry not equal to only if the output is not equal to zero then display reset error uh, else if the previous data is not equal to Q the previous data means the this thing at this at this time the previous data but when when you are checking for this at passage of the clock it will go to the next uh, data value so this will be the correct thing uh, like if you if you think you will get it so this will be like if previous data is not equal to q then display data error 
like which is similarly we are writing here right so this is the simpler way of writing this uh, another way is like if you don't want to write in this way instead of this like instead of taking this previous data or some other some other thing and all you can just directly use the assert statement how you can use this assert statement means this is the simple line of assert statement uh, in you will be writing assert property this is the basic syntax of it and uh, at in assert property what you are going to check is at passage of the clock uh, just check disable if reset uh, if if reset has been uh, if reset is equal to 1 equal to equal to 1 then this entire assert statement will be stopped means it will be like it, it won't even go after that so it will completely stop and uh, if if the disable if reset like if reset is equal to 0 then it will check whether this data is equal to q after one clock cycle this this is called implication operator and this implica implication operator why we are using is like this will check uh, after one clock cycle this will check this data to q after one clock cycle okay so that's how this works and uh, this another one thing is like i told you like uh, whenever a reset is being coming this entire asset property will be like uh, closing it won't uh, proceed further it will just make it one and it will pass so in order to check whether uh, during that reset has been uh, uh, high like re if reset is equal to one uh, at that time whether it is working correctly or not in order to check that i am writing this thing like always at reset uh, after some time like uh, after settling that uh, time after settling some time like one or two whichever you feel like using you can use so after one uh, nanosecond i am just checking assert q is equal to equal to one tick b0 means uh, whether after if a reset has been uh, asserting whether uh, this q is becoming the output is going zero or not that i am checking here and uh, that's all so basically um, this is the good coding practice which will be useful like uh, I, from if you start practicing like this then you can go further and further like uh, let's say if you want to check some more data uh, I can just copy and paste this because this is a driver kind so here you can change this to uh, just I also so if you run you can still find that you can easily manipulate the thing uh, multiply it like you can easily manipulate it but if you are not using like this like this uh, two blocks for a driver and generator it will be very hard so you can check here whether it is passing or failing and uh, i made a data error i don't know where i made one second mm, okay if previous data is not equal to q So if you want to check, you can check from here also, or you can check from here also. So uh, if you are checking here, you can observe that in test bench we made some error, like this previous data should be equivalent to output, like if I am writing it correct. Uh, but I guess I made a mistake, we'll see that. And yeah, here also in, from our like uh, test bench condition, we are getting errors. So, okay, like this is the mistake I made, like after this, passage of the clock i should have used it like the previous data will be equivalent to the data yeah so i guess now i rectified it if i'm checking now it will be correct we'll see yeah you can observe here that uh, now the previous data is matching well along with the queue and i believe our test bench is working fine and our dut is also correct and that's it guys for this video and next video uh, we'll be going deeper into the concepts and probably we'll be looking into how to make FIFO and stuff. And uh, thank you for supporting. Bye. Have a good day.